Now there's an amazing thing going on, which is the humanoid robot companies are springing up all over the world. There's about uh, five or six in the United States. Louis Santis was just on stage talking about Optronic on the right. Obviously, there's Tesla. Figure AI is one of the ones that's being talked about a lot lately. And I'm really excited about what all these companies are doing. In Europe, there's also a set. But the most amazing thing is what's going on in China. I went to a conference last year, and there were 27 different humanoid robots there. But I think we could have a conversation. If I had more time, we could have a conversation about humanoid robots and wonder, are they really a good idea? What's the time frame for getting ROI on humanoids versus other things? And what really is a humanoid robot? Is it one that has two arms, two legs, and a head? I think that's a stupid idea for defining humanoid. A humanoid is a robot that uh, is intelligent, that has uh, semantic understanding and situational understanding of its environment. It's one that you can communicate with and things like that. And it's one that's very versatile. I think those traits could be in lots of different physical forms of robots and they should be called humanoid or at least be viewed as having the attributes of a humanoid. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this evolves. I think we're going to see human-like characteristics in all kinds of uh, robot forms.